Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to take a look at how to control what content is shown in your statement body for fees, costs, and payments using statement templates. You can create as many templates as you need and they can easily be applied to one or more matters. Let's start by opening client information from the Quick Launch. On the Statement Options tab, the Draft and Final Template fields are where you can assign which templates will be used by your matters. You can quickly open the Statement Template Editor by right-clicking in the field and selecting Edit Statement Template. You can also access Statement Templates from the Quick Launch. Let's take a look at the settings for this template here. The Template ID and Description can work together to help you identify what information the template includes. From the Template ID list, because of the information in the Description field, you can quickly find a template that can be used for various types of billing. You can create a new template anytime by entering a new Template ID and Description. The General tab includes options to customize your statement information, including the statement type, billing history, past due messages, and any optional statement notes. When Invoice Format is selected, only the current work is shown. Previous balance, payments, credits, and finance charges are still processed and the account's receivable information is updated, but they do not print on an invoice. Statement Format includes the previous balance, current work, and payment information on the bill. Different billing history and past due messages are available depending on how much detail you want to provide on a statement. Beginning and ending statement notes can also be included. You can edit or add new statement notes by right-clicking into the field and clicking Edit Statement Notes. You can also choose which template will be the default for new clients. The defaults for Draft and Final are shown in the Statement Template Lookup. On the Fee Format tab, you can determine what information will be included for each fee transaction. Different fee formats can be specified depending on your matter's needs. For example, the Info Only and No Fees options are ideal for keeping your fees in work in process until the end of a matter, whereas the Standard and Summary formats allow fees to be included in Build. Once a format is set, you can further customize how the information is displayed depending on the fields available in the Include section. You can optionally include a fee recap, which allows you to sort your data by individual timekeeper, timekeeper level, or rate. For more examples on how each of these fields affects your statement body, check out our help topics by pressing F1 or by clicking the question mark icon in the toolbar. The Cost and Payment Format tab determines the format of the expenses, advances, and payments on the statement. You can choose between a variety of totaling options depending on the type of matter you're working with. The Layouts tab is used in conjunction with the Statement Designer program, where you can customize the look of your statements to fit your firm. For each part of the statement, you can select a different layout option. For more information about formatting the content of your statements, Check out our statement formatting guide by visiting tabs3.com forward slash guides. Once your template options are selected, click Save. Please note that when you make a change to an existing statement template, it will affect any matter that uses that template. Tabs3 does provide the option to assign a template to multiple matters at the same time using the Change Client Options feature, which can be accessed from the Quick Launch. Also note that templates can be temporarily overridden from the Options tab of Generate Statements. This is helpful for when a last minute change needs to be made. And that's all it takes to set up and use statement template. Thanks for watching. See you next time.